What's up everyone, how's it going? This is Dr. Andrew from the Vertex Chiropractic and Sports Clinic here in San Mateo, California. And um, this is one of the first videos that I've ever done. Uh, what I'd like to do uh, for this video, uh, or what I'd like to go over, are some things called um, the uh, controlled articular rotations, or CARS for short. Um, the controlled articular rotations are the backbone for the functional range conditioning uh, course. Uh, more specifically, what I'd like to go over today is the global morning routine. Um, so with the with cars, uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring that specific joint that you're moving through its greatest rotational movement. Um, cars are great for joint health, joint longevity, and it also helps to give us a self-assessment onto how our joint is doing that day. Um, it gives us some feedback and lets us know whether or not something's feeling restricted or if something is feeling a little bit compressed. Um, and so um, here are here's the cars video for our morning routine. Enjoy. <laughs> Let's get started with our morning controlled articular rotations routine. A uh, few things to note here, we're going to start from our head to our toes. And anytime I mention irradiation, remember we are irradiating, irradiating about 10 to 30 percent of our maximum effort. Um, and also if you start feeling any sort of pinching or sharp pain, uh, we are going to want to back off away from that specific part of our motion and continue on with the motion. Um, any sort of pinching or sharp pain, uh, we're dealing, we're most likely dealing with some compression of the joint, especially in a closing angle. Um, and we don't want to compress anything within our joints. Uh, so just remember that, take that into consideration um, as we get started. Uh, so once I, uh, like I said before, we're gonna get started with our um, neck joints. So I'm going to use, um, just for my own personal um, external um, cue, I'm going to use a yoga block to help me irradiate uh, the muscles in my lower extremity. So um, you don't have to use any sort of external cues. You, you don't have to use any props at all. I personally just like to do it just to remind myself um, to, or remind my muscles to keep irradiating from uh, that certain area. So I'm going to place my yoga block in between my thighs. My feet are hip distance apart. I'm going to start grounding my feet down into the mat or floor. And I'm going to start irradiating my muscles from the bottom of my feet all the way to my glutes, squeezing this block in between my thighs. I'm going to take a big deep breath in and pack it all into my core to radiate my core. Now my both of my palms are facing forward. I'm going to make a fist with each hand. And now I'm going to radiate all the muscles in my body about 10 to 30 percent. And starting with our neck, just moving our neck joint as best we can, trying not to couple it with any spine movement or any shoulder movement. We're going to bring our neck down to our chest or chin down to our chest. We're going to follow that left clavicle with our chin as we trace and rotate our neck all the way towards the left side. We're going to tuck that left ear behind our left shoulder. And now we're going to bring our neck into extension as we look all the way up to the top. And bring our neck all the way over towards the right side now, tucking in that right ear behind that right shoulder. Looking all the way to the right side and then tracing that right clavicle with our chin as we head back to center for half of our rip. Now you can continue on towards the left side or you could, con you could go back towards the right side as we follow that chin along our right clavicle, look all the way towards the right, tuck in that right ear behind that right shoulder, look all the way up to the top, bringing our neck into extension tucking in our left ear behind our left shoulder, looking all the way towards the left side, and now following that chin 
all the way down to the center. And that is one rep. For our morning routine, we want to do about two to three reps um, for each joint. And for the next part of the video, you'll see the neck um, motion in a side angle view. For our side view of the neck cars, um, I'm going to use the block once again to help irradiate the lower extremities. Uh, once again, you don't have to use an external cue. Just remember to radiate all the muscles within the body um, in order to facilitate the movement of our neck. Okay, so I'm going to place the block in between our or my uh, thighs, ground through the floor, start engaging the muscles from the bottom of my feet all the way to my glutes, take a big deep breath in, and pack it all into my core. Hands facing forward, make a fist with each hand, start creating all the muscles about 10 to 30 percent all the way up to my neck area. And I'm going to bring my chin down to my chest. And I'm going to follow that left clavicle with my chin as I rotate my neck all the way to the left side. I'm going to tuck in that left ear behind the left shoulder. And my neck is going to go into extension as I look all the way up and head on over towards the right side, tucking in that right ear behind that right shoulder, looking all the way to the right side, and then following that right clavicle as I trace it down with my chin, all the way back to center for my half rep. And once again, you could follow through towards the left side, or you could go back towards the right side and reverse, rotating all the way to the right, Tucking in that right ear behind that right shoulder. Looking all the way up to the top into extension. Towards the left side now. Tucking in that left ear behind that left shoulder. Looking all the way towards the left side. And now following that chin down that left clavicle. All the way back to center. Completing that rep. Once again, uh, do two to three reps uh, for your morning routine. <laughs> Moving on to the spine now, I'm going to use a uh, block once again for my external cue. I'm going to place it in between my thighs. Once again, you do not have to use an external cue. Start engaging all the muscles from the bottom of my feet all the way to my glutes to help uh, keep my hips square towards the front. Imagine as if uh, there were laser beams coming from your hip points. We're, during this uh, during this controlled articular rotation for your spine, we're going to try to keep them as straight as possible. So I'm keeping that laser beam as straight as possible. I'm using my irradiation to squeeze my glutes to help keep my hips in place. And once you find that irradiation for your uh, glutes and your lower extremities, we're going to cross our hands over our chest. And then we're going to tuck in our chin. And now pretending to, as if we, were, we had a piece of tape stuck to our spine, we're going to slowly just unwind one vertebra at a time as we flex forward. Once you find full flexion for your spine here, much like the neck, we're going to rotate our, just our spine toward the left side. Once again, keeping our hips facing forward. Once you find full rotation towards the left, we're going to teapot over our left shoulder into lateral flexion. And now we're going to go into extension as we bring our spine all the way back, trying not to keep, trying to keep our hips facing forward and not tipping all the way forward. Teapot all the way towards the right side. Now rotate all the way towards the right. And now we're going to follow through back into forward flexion for this half rep. You can follow through all the way towards the left side, or you can go back towards the right as we rotate towards the right side. 
teapot over that right shoulder. And then we're gonna go into extension as we go all the way back. Trying to recruit each vertebra here along your spine as best you can. Teapot that right that left shoulder, rotate towards the left. And now let's head on back to full flexion to complete our rep. And once again, do two to three reps for your morning routine. <laughs> Going into a side view now for our spine cars. Once again, I'm using a block for ex in an external cue. And place it in between my thighs. Start grounding my feet down into the floor. Start squeezing and engaging my glutes about 30%. Keeping my hips straight. Laser beams going straight towards the front. Taking a deep breath in. Radiating my core as I breathe into my core. Hands facing forward and cross your hands over your chest. Tugging in that chin. And moving just our spine now for our spine cars. We're going to flex forward one vertebra at a time as best we can. Once I reach full flexion, I'm going to rotate my spine towards the left side. Once again, keeping my hips facing forward. Once I find full rotation for the left side, I'm gonna teapot over my left shoulder. And now from here, I'm going to go into spinal extension as I go all the way up to the top and then head on over towards the right side, teapotting over my right shoulder into lateral flexion. Rotate towards the right side and now follow all the way through back into spinal flexion for that half rep. And now we're gonna go, we could go back towards the left side or we could reverse towards the right side. I'm gonna reverse as I rotate towards the right, teapot over, laterally flex my spine towards the right side. And now I'm gonna go into extension as I look all the way up to the top, over to the left side. Now teapot that left shoulder over Rotate towards the left side. And now I'm going to follow that into flexion just like we did in the beginning, completing my rep. Once again, two to three reps for your morning routine uh, spine. All right. All right, heading on now to our scapular controlled articular rotations. Once again, I'm using a yoga block for my external cue, placing it in between my thighs. Starts uh, engaging my muscles from the bottom of my feet all the way to my glutes, squeezing that yoga block with my thighs, engaging my glutes about 30%. Now bringing my hands forward, thumbs up, noticing if my hands go above my shoulders, I want them in line with my shoulders, I want my elbows in line with my shoulders. Now I'm gonna open up about 30%. Now just moving our scapula or shoulder blades, I'm going to bring my uh, shoulders up towards my ears. And now from here, we're going to go forward into protraction. So bring your shoulder blades forward. And now I'm going to depress my shoulder blades as I bring them all the way down. And then I'm going to retract them as I bring them all the way back, all the way up, elevation all the way forward, protraction all the way down, depression, and all the way back into retraction. Let's reverse that as you go forward into protraction, up into elevation, back into retraction, down into depression. Let's go one more circle, forward, up, back, all the way down. Awesome job everyone. We're gonna move on to our shoulders now, our glenohumeral joint. <laughs> All right, 
right, everyone, we're going to get started with our uh, shoulder or glenohumeral uh, controlled articular rotations. Um, I put some hot pink tape on my biceps to uh, show off my artwork. Uh, just kidding. So I put hot, some hot pink tape just so you could uh, get a sense of where or how your shoulder moves uh, during this rotational uh, process. So I'm going to, uh, for my shoulder cars, I'm going to use this um, yoga block to once again help as an external cue as I irradiate uh, my lower extremities. So I'm going to start engaging my muscles from the bottom of my feet all the way to my glutes, keeping my hips square towards the front. Making a fist with my left hand. We're just going to move our right shoulder here. And as you see the X along my bicep, I'm going to externally rotate my right shoulder so that the X faces the outside as well as your palms. Once I reach full external rotation for my right shoulder, I'm going to bring it all the way forward and across as we go into a deduction and flexion at the same time. And I'm going to keep reaching with my right fingertips. Up here in full flexion with my right fingertips, we're going to internally rotate that shoulder. So now that X, that bicep, faces sort of towards you. And now we're going to go into extension as we reach all the way back. Once again, trying not to couple this with spinal movement or scapular movement, just moving from the glenohumeral joint. And we're going to keep that internal rotation as the back of our palm meets our hip. From here, you can continue on as we go into external rotation and go back forward and across, or we can just go back starting in internal rotation. I'm going to start from internal rotation, then we're going to reverse it as we go all the way back into extension as we keep reaching back flip it on over at that road roadblock into external rotation go all the way into full flexion over here and we're going to reach all the way forward and across much like we did in the beginning as well as an external rotation so that was one rep we're going to do two to three let's go one more time as we externally rotate our shoulder the X on that bicep is facing the outside as well as your palms. We go all the way forward and across. Keep reaching, draw a bigger circle with each rep that you do. Here at the top in full flexion, we're going to go into internal rotation as my palm faces the outside and my bicep faces towards me. We're going to go all the way back into extension along with that internal rotation as the back of our palm meets our hip. And let's continue back. Going back into extension, flip it on over at that roadblock into external rotation. Keep that external rotation as we go all the way forward and all the way across and back into starting position. And we're going to do the same thing on the left side. Awesome job, everyone. everyone so we're going to do a side view of our shoulder controlled articular rotations uh, I'm going to use the block to uh, help as an external cue as I irradiate the uh, lower extremities so I'm sorry irradiating, irradiating from the bottom of my feet all the way to my glutes take a big deep breath in pack it all into my core left hand facing forward make a palm with that left hand and now we are just going to move at, as at our best we're just trying to move uh, with our right shoulder. So we're going to externally rotate that right shoulder so that our bicep and our palms face the outside. If you could see from the video, the, um, you, just, you should be able to see that X along my bicep. And then from here, we're going to go forward and all the way across as we keep that external rotation, going to shoulder A deduction and shoulder flexion all the way up at the top here. And then from here, I'm going to internally rotate that shoulder as my palm faces the outside and my bicep faces me. And 
and then from here we're going to go into extension as I reach back trying to move just the shoulder joint here and I'm going to continue that internal rotation as the back of my palm meets the hip and then I'm going to reverse that as I go back into extension flipping it on over into external rotation at the roadblock reach all the way up to the top keep that external rotation and then from here we're going to go all the way forward and across into a deduction and then all the way back to starting position and that was one rep you are going to do two to three reps for your morning routine and don't forget to do the other side all right everyone so we've done our neck we've done our spine we've done our shoulder blades and we've done our shoulders we're gonna do our elbow joints now and so once again to help irradiate the lower extremities I'm gonna use a block in between my thighs start irradiating from the bottom of my feet all the way to my glutes keeping my hips square towards the front I'm going to take a big deep breath in and pack it all into my core to help irradiate my core. My palms facing forward and my elbows are in uh, full extension. Um, actually, let's do one at a time for now. Uh, you're going to use your uh, left finger or your left pointer finger along your um, right elbow just to help make sure that it's moving just from the elbow and not from the shoulder. So keeping this extension of our elbow, my hand right here is in supination. And then if we go over palm facing down, that is called pronation. So we're gonna start off in supination and extension of that elbow. From here, we're going to bend and flex that elbow all the way and now from here with our elbow in full flexion we're going to pronate from our elbow palm facing forward and now we're going to pretend that 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 air is super dense about 30 degrees or 30 percent dense and I'm going to press all the way down and go back into elbow extension from here, flip it on over into elbow supination, bend into elbow flexion, keeping that supination, flip on over into pronation, palm facing you, extend from that elbow all the way, air is dense about 30 to 30%. And now from here, let's reverse that as we go, as we stay in pronation, palm facing down, and let's bend at the elbow into elbow flexion, flip it on over into elbow supination, and then we're going to extend all the way down, elbow extension, flip it on over, elbow pronation, elbow flexion, Flip it on over into elbow supination and finally ending back into elbow extension. All right, awesome job, everyone. Do the same thing on the other side. Um, on the left, once again, two to three reps each side. All right, everyone. So we've done our neck spine, shoulder blades, shoulders, we've done our elbows, we can do our wrists. And so for our wrists, um, I'm going to use a block once again. I'm on my knees this time. I'm going to place the block in between my knees. You can do the standing up. Um, but as I'm just doing this for the video. So I'm radiating from the bottom of my feet all the way up to my glutes once again. And uh, I'm going to place um, one of these tools, you could use a phone to help you out, um, something valuable so that you're not going to drop it. 
and just so that you keep that um, uh, position. So my elbow is going to be tucked into my ribs, uh, my right elbow. I'm going to place my phone, or in this case, a tool, onto my forearm. So your forearm should always in this be in this position. We are just going to move from our wrist joint. So from here, I'm going to make a fist with my left hand. And then moving, keeping my fingers into extension, I'm going to go into wrist extension as I show you my palm. I'm going to bring my thumb towards me this time. And then I'm going to flex my wrist all the way forward. And then I'm going to go towards my pinky side. And then I'm going to go back into extension as I show you my palm. Go thumb side towards you. Flex towards you. Pinky side. And show you my palm once more. And now I'm going to reverse that as I go pinky side, flex towards me, thumb side, and show you my palm extension, pinky side, palm towards me, wrist flexion, thumb side, and once again ending in wrist extension. All right, awesome job everyone. Do that on the same, on the other side. Two to three reps for your morning routine. What's up everyone, how's it going? We're going to start off with our lower extremities now, uh, starting off with our hips. And we're going to do this, um, you could either do this standing or you could do this sideline position. I'm going to show you standing first. Um, right now I have two dowels with me. Uh, you could use dowels, uh, broomsticks, whatever. Or you could use a, um, a door post. Uh, to help you as you just grab on to the door post. Uh, so the good thing with these dowels and the door posts is you could, you, as you grab onto them, you could use them to uh, help irradiate the muscles in your upper body as well as your core. So my, uh, to start off, my sticks are going to be at 11 and 1 o'clock. I'm going to press down into the floor about 30%. Tension. And we're gonna start off with our right hip here, and I'm going to bend at that right knee. And then I'm going to bring my right foot and my right knee all the way across my body into hip adduction. And then we're gonna go all the way up as far as I can to hip flexion, knee towards the chest. And now I'm gonna open up into hip abduction right here as I open up all the way and then from here, I'm going to try to bring the right heel up towards the sky as best I can into hip internal rotation. And then I'm going to kick back just from the hip into hip extension. My right knee is going to meet my left, and I'm going to reverse that as I go back into extension. Once again, just from the hips, watch that lower back. Now from here, I'm going to open up back into a B duction. And then I'm going to go up towards hip flexion. And then I'm going to go back across and end into hip A deduction. Foot meets foot. And now that is one rep. Let's go do another one. As we bend at that right knee again, bringing our right foot and our right knee across our body into hip A deduction. Go into hip flexion as you go up to the top. Go into hip abduction, back of our right, or the right heel goes up towards the back of our head. We're going to go into extension as we kick back from the hip. Right knee meets the left, and let's reverse that as we go back into extension. Open up into abduction, go all the way up into flexion, and all the way across once again into hip A deduction. Foot meets foot, shake it all out, and do the same thing on the other side. All 
right, everyone. So we went over our controlled articular rotations for our hip uh, standing. Now we're going to do it in a sideline position. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to do it um, on my uh, lying on my right side with my left hip up, uh, just so that my left hip can get some loving today. I have a yoga block here, and we're going to use this as a pillow. You can use whatever you want as a pillow. You don't even need a pillow, but I assure you, it's much more comfortable when you're lying on your side. Okay, so I'm going to lie on my right side with my left hip up. My left hip is stacked on top of my right hip. I'm going to open up my hips about a little bit more than 90 degrees so I have a little bit of space. I'm going to take a big deep breath in, pack it all into my core. Now start radiating all the muscles in my body about 30%. I'm going to bend at that left knee and I'm going to bring it all the way forward up to my chest. Hip flexion. I'm going to open up into hip abduction. My left heel is going to go back towards my head. Hip internal rotation. And then from here we're going to go into hip extension as we extend just from the hip watching that lower back. Left knee meets the right, and let's reverse that as we go back into extension. Open up into abduction. Bring it back into full flexion. Left knee meets the right. And that was one rep. Let's go one more time. As we go up towards flexion, open up into abduction. Left heel goes back towards your head. Extend back just from the hip, hip extension. Left knee meets the right, extend all the way back, open up into hip abduction, bring it all the way forward and across, hip flexion, knee meets knee, and you completed two reps. Remember to do two to three reps uh, for your morning routine, remember to do both sides. Alright everyone, we're continuing to move down our skeleton. Uh, we did our neck, we did our spine, we did our shoulder blades, we did our shoulders, we did our elbows, we did our wrists. We did our hips and now we're onto our knees. Uh, so for our knees, uh, we're going to start off with our patella or our kneecaps. Um, demonstrating on the right side, we're going to bend at that left knee, bring it inside our right um, thigh. And from here, I'm going to try to unengage my quad as best as I can. And this is the only one that it, you are doing, um, you're not doing actively. This is the one that you are only doing passively. So for your kneecap or your patella, um, you're just going to take your both of your thumbs and start wiggling that patella back and forth. A few times, we're going to wiggle that patella up and down a few times and now we're just going to go into a clockwise circle going one way or going clockwise a few times and now you can also go counterclockwise a few times if you are starting to feel queasy as you are watching your patella move back and forth. You could just not look at it. All right, and that was the patella. Make sure to do the same thing on the other side. Continuing on with our knee joint. So this tibia bone right here, this big bone in uh, your lower leg, um, this also rotates. So. We could, ro we could internally rotate, and we can externally rotate. And so that is what we are going to try to do uh, for our um, other set of knee cars. Um, we're going to try to lock our right knee uh, a little bit more. Um, the way to do that, we're going to take our right hand underneath our right leg. We're going to grab a hold of our left bicep. We're going to lift our right, uh, our lower right leg up. 
And if you can stay here, or you have the option to just put a chokehold onto your um, whole right leg here as you grab a hold of your right bicep with your left hand. And then once again, we're going to try to just move from the tibia joint as best as we can. From here, we're going to flex our toes up towards our face. And now we're going to internally rotate from that tibia. So toes pointing in. From here, with my knee in full flexion, I'm going to extend it all the way as best as I can. I'm going to go into tibial external rotation. So toes, uh, big toe pointing out. And then I'm going to flex the knee once more. Internal rotation as a big toe points in. Exter or extension. Externally rotate and flex that knee. Keep that external rotation of the tibia as we extend our knee out all the way. Internally rotate that tibia as we bend and flex that knee all the way. Externally rotate that tibia, extend. Internally rotate that tibia and bend. All right, awesome job, everyone. We're gonna head on to the ankle now. All right, moving on over to our ankle joint uh, now. We're gonna do our ankle joint cars. Um, I have a yoga block so that we can place it, or I can place it underneath my right calf just so that I could isolate the ankle joint a bit more. If you do not have a yoga block or anything to put um, your right calf on, you have the option of always using your body. So placing your right calf on top of your uh, left ankle would also work in this case. But for demonstration purposes, we are going to, I'm going to use a block just so that you could hopefully see it better. Okay, I'm gonna take a big deep breath in, pack it all into my core, I'm trying my best just to move from the ankle joint now. I'm gonna start irradiating all the muscles in my body. And then I'm going to flex my toes up towards my face as best as I can. So this is ankle dorsiflexion here. And now we're going to go into a clockwise circle. So as we go into a clockwise circle, I'm going to point my toes out, going into ankle E version here. I'm going to press on that gas pedal, ankle plantar flexion, and then we're going to go all the way in, ankle inversion. If you've ever um, had an ankle sprain, this is the position that you normally sprain your ankle in. Flex up at the top. Evert, go out, plantar, press on the gas pedal, inversion, flex up, evert, plantar flex, inversion, ending in dorsiflexion. And now let's go into a counterclockwise circle. Once again, trying to just move as best you can from the ankle joint. Going up into dorsiflexion, inversion, plantar flexion, press on the gas pedal, E version, up at the top, inversion, plantar flexion, E version, and ending in dorsiflexion. Once again, do the same thing to the other ankle, and then we'll move on over to our toes. <laughs> Alright friends, we're finally here, we're at the finish line. We're going to do our toes now, and no, our toes do not rotate, but we can control them, we can work on our joint health and our joint motion for our toes. So, I'm going to, uh, you can do the standing up as well, I'm going to do it in a seated position with my knees bent and my feet down on the floor. 
So moving just our big toes and we're going to lift them up towards our face and then we're going to bring them all the way back down. Lift them up, bring them back down. Lift them up, back down. One more time, lift them up and back down. Now controlling the rest of our toes, we're going to leave our big toes down on the mat. We're going to lift the rest of our toes up, back down, up, back down, up, back down, and up, back down. This time, leave your or lift up all of your toes. And now just the big toes, control them as they go all the way down and back up. Just the big toes, back down, back up. Big toes down, up, last one, big toes down, and all the way up. From here, leave your big toes up and just bring your other toes down, back up, down, back up, down, back up, and down, and back up. Now, for the grand finale, what we're going to do, we're going to piano down from our pinky toes all the way down to my big toes. And just so that you see what, what it's like with our hands, it's supposed to look like this. My toes aren't, I don't have that much control yet with my toes, so bear with me as we do this together. Lift all your toes up, and now piano down from the pinky toes all the way down to the big toes. Up, piano down, up, piano down, up, piano down. Last one, everyone, up and piano down. Awesome job, friends. That concludes our controlled articular rotations morning routine. Um, it'd be a great habit for you to do every day in the morning. Uh, once again, you're not, you know, you're not hurting yourself doing this, and we're also not using a lot of force. We're only doing about 30% of our maximum effort um, doing this in the morning. I personally like to do this uh, every time or just before a workout. Um, it just helps to keep myself uh, assessed as to what joints are feeling tight, what I should look out for, um, if anything's feeling restricted or not. And so, uh, yes, try that out. Make a habit of doing it every morning. This is your morning routine. It takes about maybe 10 to 15 minutes to get through the whole thing. All right, everyone, take care.